we've brought people together today to talk about the problem of drug pricing because there are a lot of people working on this issue and periodically it's important for those people to come together, make sure they have a common understanding of what the problems are and understand what the options are for moving forward. I think we're gonna learn a lot today. I think we will hear a lot of things that we haven't thought of before. It's always just beneficial to bring really smart people together to work on really hard problems and that's what we're trying to do. We've heard from tens of thousands of patients from all over the country, people who are skipping doses, cutting pills in half, going without food in order to be able to pay for their drugs. This is what's happening all across the country. Our patients are seeing it in their out-of-pocket costs, they're seeing it in their co-pays, they're seeing it in their co-insurance and their cost shares. They're seeing prices that they have not seen before. So patients are making decisions about whether or not they can treat a condition that they come in for, whether or not after talking to a doctor they're going to go to the pharmacy and pick up that medication that we just agreed is the right way to treat them. So pharmaceutical companies have been talking for years that innovation and research is really increasing their price of drugs. But what they're not telling you is that really a lot of the innovation is coming from the taxpayers. When drug prices are so high that patients don't feel like they can afford it, they will often not follow directions and follow the instructions of how they should be taking the medications. If elected representatives don't hear from citizens, then the only parties they're going to hear from are the manufacturers. And that's going to lead them to follow the interests of the manufacturers instead of the interests of citizens. If members of Congress and other politicians believe that they will be judged that votes for or against them are gonna be based in significant part on what they're doing about high prescription drug prices, they're gonna to respond to it. Drug prices in the U.S. are high because shareholders drive the prices, and it's not um, the regular capital market forces that are actually driving prices right now. And so we have a dysfunctional market that we need to change. What we're seeing right now is that the incentives are perverse and manufacturers are incentivized to have very high list prices and everything flows down from the list price. So when manufacturers are in a situation where they can determine the price of their product and they're left unchecked, sky is the limit. It's not just drug manufacturers that make money off the high prices of drugs. Many other parts of the system um, make money off these prices being high and the system being very complex and opaque. Big change only happens when people join forces. So an event like today makes a, a difference in terms of allowing people to get together, talk, strategize, and think about a way forward that will mobilize enough force to actually produce change that will help people and lower drug prices.